Hey guys, I want to share with you my latest firearm. If you guys saw that video I put up not that long ago where I had built an AR-15 and took it to my brother's house and gave it to him, well, he sent me home with something as well. This is a Marlin Model 30AW and it is a lever action 3030 my very first lever action. I've been wanting one for years. That uh, He sent this home with me and uh, what is more important than him giving this to me is this was one of my father's firearms. And when my father passed away he left his firearm collection to my brother and uh, well he was kind enough to give me this and he said he already had one of these so he gave me my father's which uh, I will always cherish this now this uh, the model 30 AW is a I don't know if you want to call it a variant or uh, it's a lower end of the model 336 these were uh, <clears throat> sold at a, at a less expensive price um, from far as I know it has the same action uh, I just had a uh, lower quality stock which the model 336 came with a walnut stock the uh, this one came with uh, a birch stock with a walnut stain and looking at the wood grain this is definitely birch it also came with uh, lower quality iron sights see if I can get this in there the uh, front sight is a brass bead and then the rear sight is a bent bent metal with a U notch in it and then it has these steps for uh, elevation adjustment for the windage you have to drift the front sight back and forth <clears throat> um, this model also came with a sling and a uh, lower end scope this is a Bushnell 3 to 9 by 32 and uh, from the little bit of research I did this was manufactured in 1988 and the model 30 AW was uh, designated for sale at Walmart stores there were a few different uh, model 30s that were designed and they all had a different letter designation and th that letter designation depended on what store was selling them like I said this is uh, the AW and it was for Walmart there is a uh, different letter designation for Sears and a different one for JC Penney's and uh, another one for Montgomery Wards but I thought I'd share this with you guys um, it does have some light surface rust on it it has been neglected I see that on there it's kinda hopefully it's not bad enough to where it's pitted but I uh, need to break out the oil and the 4 rot steel wool and get to work on that uh, the worst spot is right here by the loading gate and the ejection port it's probably where the most damage is done but uh, yeah I get this cleaned up and I actually bought a matching sling and uh, side saddle for the stock they're they're both leather and they're matching they have the same uh, design on them and not only will that side saddle hold more ammo but it also will protect the stock which the stock has some uh, has a few battle scars on it 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 has some use I'm not sure how well the camera will pick that up but it, it does have some use <clears throat> uh, I did put a bore scope down the barrel Fortunately, there's no rust in the barrel. There's a little bit of copper fouling, but rust free. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, I, I looked up the information on this gun. It says 
it came from the factory with a six and a quarter pound trigger and there's no way this thing is six and a quarter pounds it it doesn't even feel like it's four pounds at all it's, it's very light um, but yeah I proud to have another one of my father's firearms uh, not sure if I'm gonna keep the scope on here because it is kind of high um, when I look get a good, good cheek well and look through I see the iron sights it does have see-through scope rings and to see through the scope I have to lift my head too high and break my cheek well instead of the instead of the stock being here where it should be it's down here so I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that scope on there or not just might use uh, iron sights but um, thought I'd share this with you guys and give you a little information Yeah, another one of my dad's firearms that I will always cherish. So, alright guys, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.